Hello you lot, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today I'm going to do a totally retro school dinner pudding. I'm going to make jam roly-poly, oh yes. This wonderful evocative dish was requested by Ken Howard, Ron Martin and Gary Morley. So, uh, yeah, I did actually do this about a thousand years ago and it was a pretty weird video. It was uh, from the days when I was experimenting with green screens and all kinds of stupid malarkey. Uh, it's a brilliant pod and actually quite easy to make. So, if you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, etc. And let's get on with it. Jam roly poly. To make your jam roly poly, you will need 200 grams of self-raising flour, 100 grams of suet, about 300 grams of jam, 150 ml of milk, and a tablespoon of caster sugar, powdered sugar. Suet, I know a lot of people just don't know what this is, they can't get it. It's made from a hard fat that you find around the kidneys of a, a sheep or an animal, and it gives a very light texture to uh, doughs and pastries, it's wonderful. If you can't buy it where you live, you can buy it online and this is a brand to look for, other brands are available. <laughs> but in the UK this is pretty much, you know, a synonym for suet. A jam, in school dinners it would have been raspberry or strawberry jam, but I thought I'd try this. Last time we went to Ikea we got a couple of jars of different types of jam from there. So this is raspberry and blueberry and it's organic. Mm -mm. Anyway should be very nice. So that's a 425 gram jar. We only need about 300 grams of that. You'll also need some greaseproof paper, parchment paper, some aluminium foil, and a bit of butter for lubricating the greaseproof paper. First job is make the dough. So you want to mix together your flour and suet, and a little bit of sugar. and then mix in the milk. Now we'll wrap it in plastic film and stick it in the fridge to rest for 30 minutes. Now we need some flour on the worktop. and use a ruler or other straight edge just to straighten the edges. Hey. Okay, now we need to preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius for a fan oven, convection oven. That's 200 for a conventional one and that is gas five. Now I've got a sheet of greaseproof paper and I'm just gonna spread some butter on that. I know this is supposed to be non-stick, but you yeah. know, most non-stick things really aren't. Now we want the dough on the paper. Tricky that. Ha <laughs> ha! Now we need to spread the jam all over, but leave a margin of uh, a couple of centimetres, about an inch, all around. Now the slightly tricky bit is rolling it up. I'm trying to keep the thickness even all the way across. Actually, I'm going to moisten that to make it stick. And a little sprinkle of flour to, to try and make it not stick to the paper. Good luck with that, Keith. Hey. So just fold it over, but leave plenty of space because the, um, because the roll will expand when it cooks. 
And then we want to wrap that whole thing in aluminium foil. So the same deal, fold it over a couple of times and leave room for expansion. Twizzle the ends of this. Okay, we're ready to cook or steam the um, jam roly-poly. You get a, a roasting tin or, a, or a, a dish or something with a wire rack over it, place the roly-poly on top and half fill that with boiling water. Then we pop that in the oven for 40 minutes. Okay, money shots, let's do it. And now it's test test time with Mrs. Keith Cooks. Hello. What have you done to that pinny? Nothing. <laughs> That's custard, isn't it? Oh. Well, cooked in it. Hello, like, people. Like you're supposed to. <laughs> oh, it's a shame. What? <laughs> no respect. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> mm. This is one of these school dinner things, but um, it was never this kind of jam. <laughs> mm, fancy jam. Mm. I'm happily eating this. I do mm. like suet pastry. It's the best. But, well, if you're going to be married to the pie monster at Master, or the pudding master, you know. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. It's all working, so it's all worth it. Mm. Mm. And the custard. School dinners, you know, you, you wouldn't be messing about making prop custard. You would use something out of a tin, like what I did. Something you know. Yeah. So <laughs> that's fabulous. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.